Well, Esports Insider New York City is over. It is the morning on Wednesday, the 24th. I'm headed to San Francisco today. I'm about to leave to go to the airport. Can't spend too long in this vlog so I don't miss my flight, but I'm going to San Francisco for a few meetings, uh, kind of final interviews and stuff like that, you know? Just some, nothing, nothing that exciting. I'm gonna go to Twitch. That'll be fun. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys there and at least show you around some part of it. They have a really cool cafeteria I've heard and uh, they have like a whole bar and arcade set up so hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys in there and this is my trip. One, two, three. Random side note. I'm a huge fan of how many Shake Shacks are in the JFK airport. I think this is like the third one I've seen. And I haven't even walked that far. Delicious burgers. Vlog. Our room is on the 29th floor. I am very optimistic that it will have a very good view because San Francisco is a beautiful city, so we'll just have to see. And our biggest view is a crane, but also, yeah, the ocean. I'm gonna go take a nap now. Well, I feel like I owe this vlog a longer explanation of what's going on here. You know, we've thought a lot about the kind of content ugh, that we want to make, and it's kind of it comes from the, the content we want to watch, you know, and I think a lot of the people who come to watch our YouTube and come to watch our, a lot of our social media channels are already pretty big fans of the team. So you don't really need to see like game highlights and stuff like that because you have Reddit for that and I don't really want to compete with Reddit. You know, we've decided to take kind of a more like what it's like to work here, what it's like to compete on our team um, and what it's like to kind of do our jobs just to give you a little bit more insight and idea of like what a lot of these roles are, what it's like to run a team, and, and just kind of give you the inside scoop. Um, definitely kind of getting more comfortable with the whole like vlogging thing. I've never done this before at all, but in like the long run, I'm even hoping to kind of like bring this to some business meetings and give you kind of a better idea of what it's like to work here and what it's like to work in esports. I guess I should also explain while I'm here. So I'm here to do a sort of like very final interview with someone that we've been trying to hire for a while. Um, it's a pretty complicated role in terms of the responsibilities and structure and compensation, so I wanted to come out here to meet him in person to kind of talk about it and go over a lot of it. Um, and then I also have a meeting at Twitch. Then I'm also going to be going down to LA on Saturday for MafiaCon. Go to BTS, meet up with, uh, you know, my old co-workers and that, that really is my old event. I mean, that's basically the, the town, which is the event that me and Charlie did with all the Dota players. Really just want to see the project continue, so I'm going to go check that out on Saturday. Uh, have a few more meetings with another interview candidate and another company uh, at the beginning of next week, and then I'll be heading home. I think we are going to get you guys better introduced to a lot of our staff members over the next month or two as we kind of uh, build out our team, and we're also going to be moving offices in July. Um, so there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up, and you know, we're really starting to grow as a company, you know, from sort of four to five employees. Now I think we're gonna be looking towards eight, nine, 10 uh, very quickly here in the next few months. So I think it'll be a neat, a neat opportunity to kind of capture the growing process, capture what it's like, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Daily update. It is Thursday. It's 9.30 in the morning or something. And I'm heading over to one of my old roommates and really good friend's house to do some laundry and uh, just work, pretty much. I have some stuff I have to take care of after traveling for the last couple of days, so uh, conveniently he has, you know, laundry and good internet. Uh, I didn't pack that much clothes this time because I'm pretty sure I have a hernia right now, so trying to avoid bringing like a huge heavy suitcase, so I just packed kind of light knowing that I was going to have to do laundry in the middle of the week, so... Yeah, that's just the life when you travel for like over a week sometimes, you just have to do laundry. So, at least this is an easy solution, I don't have to do anything crazy. Uh, last night, had some delicious dinner, I served Wagyu for the first time. Uh, maybe we can throw a picture of that in, but uh, to be honest, it was too nice of a place for me to pull the camera out and start videoing it. Although, maybe I'll just get used to doing that in the future and it won't be weird. Um, 
And then also just hung out with some old friends, uh, met up with a bunch of Twitch employees that they have some summit here this week for all partnerships for the whole world, which is kind of cool. So like the whole world is gathered here. Um, so able to meet up with some people I haven't talked to in a while. And hopefully I'll be getting over there for a meeting at some point, but it's kind of hard with uh, with their schedule sometimes. So um, that should wrap it up. Today might be a good day to see some parts of the mission, uh, which is kind of a really iconic part of San Francisco. and. Um, this afternoon I might have a little bit of free time, so maybe we can go out and go check out Dolores Park or something like that. Until then. But also, also, I don't know, until, I don't know until then what, but also, holy, this weather. Beautiful here.